The Holy Gospel according to the 20th chapter of John. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. So it is Pentecost, and Pentecost is always a great celebration at Faith Lutheran. The color of the day is red, a color that I only get to wear one other day in the church year, so that was part of my motivation to record at church this week and get to wear my red, the stole that I was given um, by my, from my family for my ordination. I only get to wear it a couple of times a year. Pentecost is red to symbolize the Holy Spirit, what this day is all about. And so usually then, this day in the church year brings much joy and celebration, and it's always a festive day. But this year, I just don't feel much like celebrating. For one, I miss the way that we normally do things, and I, I don't like that I'm putting normal in quotes, but I'm not even sure what normal is right now anymore. But I miss what I consider to be normal. I miss gathering in person with all of you to worship. Though I was able to share Esther's idea with some of my colleagues, I miss our members sharing the Acts reading in all of the languages. Now, we were blessed because you got me and Claudia and David uh, in our, the video. But still, I miss hearing all of the different voices. I miss singing the festive hymns that bring so much life to our building and joy to our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. I also don't feel much like celebrating because the world seems to be upside down. This virus has caused so much destruction. There is the obvious sickness and death, but also the impact that it has had on people's jobs, be it job loss or the need to work so many extra hours or work in fear. Great economic suffering is present all around us. There have been several small businesses right here in Rochelle that have announced that they will not be able to reopen. The things that people know and love can't happen safely right now. I just read that uh, the fireworks are canceled postponed possibly, but most likely canceled this year. My family is probably not alone in missing baseball, both watching it on television and watching our children play. Mental illness is on the rise. Because of all that I already mentioned, people are struggling in many ways. Come, Holy Spirit. I also don't feel much like celebrating because it seems that this virus has brought a great divide to our country. When this started, never did I imagine this would be a part of it. Now, honestly, never did I imagine a lot of things would go the way that they have gone, but I certainly thought this, a virus, a pandemic, would be a bipartisan issue. And it truly breaks my heart to see and hear the awful things that have been done and said from every political side, the benefit and the hope that could come from working together. Come, Holy Spirit. 
And then there is the news from Minnesota. Honestly, I hadn't stopped praying for the family that lost their son in Georgia. I've struggled to make any sense of that act of violence. And then this story came this week. George Floyd. Obviously, there are many pieces to this tragic situation, and I will not address them in my sermon, but I don't feel much like celebrating when, when things like this are happening. Now, I'm picking my words carefully because I know that kids listen to my sermons, and my own nine-year-old is sad and scared and covers his ears if this is on the news or if we're talking about it. So if you don't know the story, please look it up and pray. Come, Holy Spirit. And as much as I don't feel like celebrating today, we still have Pentecost, right? No matter what we are feeling like, Pentecost breaks into our world. God hears our cries and the gift of the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit comes into our empty church buildings, into our homes, into the hospitals and the grocery stores, into the streets of Minneapolis, into every city, state, country of this world. On Pentecost and every time we cry, come Holy Spirit, what that means for our lives of faith has the power to turn my morning, perhaps your morning, into dancing, into celebration. It reminds us that whenever and wherever there is pain or suffering or injustice or hurt, God is present. Also, this story that we get from Acts each year reminds us that it is the power of the Holy Spirit that allows us to be in relationship. Relationship and then conversation among all of our differences. This is so important, especially as we continue to navigate how we live and serve in the midst of a pandemic. It's also important as we pray and discuss what things are gonna look like here at Faith Lutheran Church. Because as much as I wish it were the case, we are not of one mind. There are many thoughts on how we regather in this building. Everyone has their own level of risk and idea of what, what would or could or should work. We each have different, though often similar, criteria for what needs to happen to be able to get back together. And navigating those differences can be a challenge, no doubt. But there is always some level of that in the church and in the world, of course, because God created each of us to be unique individuals. So what unites us then is the Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit allows us to gather together virtually at this point, but hear all of the other voices. The Holy Spirit allows us to celebrate what makes us different and lets our diversity be the thing that unites us. Come, Holy Spirit. A few weeks ago, Linda asked me if I had any song request, she's been so generous to uh, gather people from our congregation to either play or uh, record, um, well record, so either play an instrument or sing a hymn or a song for us. And I asked for You Are Mine that we heard a few weeks ago and for everyone born that we're going to hear today without any plans for them, simply because they are favorites of mine and they share such an important message for everyone born. It speaks so powerfully to our world today. There is a place for everyone at God's table. Everyone deserves the right to be free, to witness, to work, to worship, 
to simply be. That is something that I want to celebrate today and every day. God will delight, the song says, when we are creators of justice and joy. God will delight. Come Holy Spirit. Amen.